Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Noob2 from Noob2 Walkthroughs, and I'm here with the next part of, with the next installment of our Pokemon Light Platinum Let's Play. And in this part, we're just gonna be finishing up this route. So we're gonna go over here. We already battled that guy down there before. Now we gotta battle this guy, and he has a spinner rack, and that's nothing. We're just gonna thunder punch it to the face. Easy peasy. That's quick. He has another spinner rack. I don't find I don't why I don't know why people in the game have like the same Pokemon. That's whack. I, I would like it if everybody had like a different variety and stuff. That would be nice, you know. So I guess so I take it out with that. I take it out with a Thunder Punch and a Swift, and it's switching to Scorupi, and I really can't handle Scorupi. Like that is a nightmare for me so far. Like it's just easy to poison me and stuff. But luckily he doesn't go for the poison. He does the stupid ass pin whistle. So yep. In this game, I think the thing I hate the most is being poisoned. And this guy has a fucking Metapod level 23, which is stupid. It would have been way much more stronger. And, it, you know, as a Butterfree, and would have helped us get, like, um... That guy gives you, like, leftovers if you talk to him. So, uh, I already got leftovers in my bag. So, um... Yeah, you see, that's leftovers. It's a pretty useful item. I plan on giving it to Trampinch when he's fully evolved into a Flygon. So, is there any items over here? Nope. Let's go back. If you guys want to see something cool, we can go back down to the other, um... Ooh, cool polywag. Uh, you can go back down to Esmeralda City. Uh, goddamn, another polywag. Uh, you can go down to Esmeralda City and get a free Eevee. Yep, you heard me, Eevee. So, go to here, and he gives you an Eevee egg. And, um, if you don't have room in your party, you say no, and he sends it to your PC, so... I got the EV in my EV egg in my PC. He's like, I'll oh, take care of my EV egg or whatever bullshit. I don't even want EV. You know, I'm tired of using EVs. Like every time I get them, like I already have like every type of fucking EV, every level 100 in my DS. So I don't feel like using one in this let's play or whatever. Maybe another let's play I'll do on maybe Jolteon. Jolteon is nice. I like Jolteon. I still got Zoru on my team, so I don't even know if I want to use him yet. Probably not. And she, he got a Chikorita, yep. And Chikorita is cool. Uh, I usually pick him when I'm using Pokemon Gold, but it's whatever. This guy got the Chikorita, which is cool. It gets a little bit of variety in the game. And I like the kid went 29, only one more level till he le till he evolves to um elect. I mean to Electabuzz, which is cool. I really want Electabuzz. That's my shit. Cause I heard in this game after Electabuzz, uh, he could evolve again at level 30 without the Electrizer and stuff. Which is cool. So will I switch Pokemons? Yes. Go for the flamethrower. And there you go, Bayleaf. That's cool. He got some Bayleaf. That's gonna give us some experience. Let's switch Mel into the front. Let him get some training or whatever. No items. Yep, no items. Got stuck there real quick, but um Let's see, she says she loves walking on the beach. And look what it is, Ultra Ball. That's cool. And this boat right here is very funny to go on because when you, once you, you know, you have to pay for this boat. You don't get a free ticket, so you have to pay $600. That, well, that one thing is weird because I never had to pay on any other Pokemon game to go on a boat. Another thing it is, did you see how it went side to side? That was weird. That's very weird. And we have to battle this guy. He has an Ampipom, which I think is awesome. More people start, need to start using them if... If I had room in my team or whatever, I think I would put one on my team. But I think I already have, like, my mindset of what I want to put on my team kind of made out. I think my last two slots are either going to go to um, Torteria and a Psychic Pokemon. But I do not know what the Psychic Pokemon I think I want to put on my team will be. So I do not know. I really want to put a Psychic Pokemon on there. Cool one, too. A strong one, too. Not no bullshit Psychic Pokemon. If I can catch, like, um... Uh, a Beldum, most likely I'd put a Beldum on there. And he's talking about Eevee and Espeon. I, I could put Espeon, but like I said, I'm tired of using them. And ooh, we got a Netball. 
Let's get some variety in balls. So we got a dive ball, net ball, ultra balls. Yeah, just like a lot of balls and a hyper potion. That's cool. Nope, no other item down there. And up another polywag. And they won't fucking let my fucking tramp pitch evolve and they had to put it to sleep on. Fuck. Never let me leave. Never let him live in peace. I really do need to make him evolve already to a Flygon. That way people take him seriously. And here's the next town. Bar Barachama town or whatever. So let's heal up our Pokemon. So I know something about this town. You can get XP share. So is it? do you get it from her? Nope. I think it's the lady outside. So you get XP share from her. So yeah, let's XP share. Let's let's put it on somebody. Ooh, let's see if we could talk to any everybody in this town and see what kind of items we can get. And I think we might need to take the airplane. No, maybe, maybe so. I do not know. And if and if you guys go into this house right here, you get a free lava tar. So talk to this house and you get a free lava tar. And this house is right in, in front of the Pokemon Center, so you want to go there and get a free lava tar. I do not know if I want to use it on my team or not. Probably not. So I'm gonna make room for my team so I can get a lava tar for free. So deposit is our and let's go get this free lava tar. And fucking crow gunk be trolling. Fuck you. Always trolling. So now we got that. And he's saying it's a rare, it's a rare Pokemon. Very few people can find it. Da 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 da. Blah blah blah. I could care less. And if you walk right here, guess who comes out? Red. I guess we gotta rebattle red again. And I'm gonna go for the sand tomb on this dumbass Pikachu. And that there's a lot. One more sand tomb and it's out. Swoop, that was quick. Melon's is actually using its melon. So let's switch out. So he's choosing out his Grotto. Kill it with one flamethrower. Easy. And he got Lucario, I'll stay in for that because it's a steel and fighting type. Just go for another flamethrower. And he got a Gyarados. And I'll just thunder punch that in the face with Electric Kid. And I'm level 30 and he evolves. Awesome. Yes, evolve. Evolve into the awesome Electabuzz you are. That is awesome right there. That is awesome possum. And he's saying, da da da, next time I will beat you because you're always one step ahead of me. Next time it will be different. And no, it will not be different because you will always get your ass beat. Always. And I guess to uh, fly on here you need ticket, so we don't we won't be flying yet. But eventually in the game you will be needing fly. He'll be flying you somewhere or whatever. And let's look at Electabuzz. He's awesome. And let's give him the um, XP share that we got. Cause I need Melon to evolve. Everybody seems to evolve on my team except for Melon. He's still in his premature age or whatever. Noob, and let's take away um, his Moo Moo milk and give him maybe amulet coin or leftovers. Give him amulet coin. We'll save leftovers for later. And let's go down here and let's battle this guy. Water gun. Water gun. Water gun. Hit him with uh, another water gun. And he's dead. 
Rapid spin. Area dose. I think I can beat that. Just gotta hit it with a water gun. Flood it. You know what I'd be doing in showers when I'd be seeing like a spider in the shower or something? I just use my shower hose or whatever and just flood it with water. And just like that's water gun. That's why I imagine in my head is going on with that area dose. Just getting flooded. So I gotta go heal real quick because that fucking area dose did a lot of fucking damage. But yeah, whatever. Healed. And we're gonna walk through here. See if he wants to battle. Nope. Just talking a lot of nonsense. And get an item. Ultra Ball, that's awesome. And you get this item right here, and it's a potion, which is cool. And that's a crawfish. Man, I swear to God, if I already didn't have a water Pokemon, I would either use that or a crawfish, crawfish or, um, Psyduck as my water Pokemon. And he got some Minfino, which is cool. Good fighting Pokemon. I wish I used one in Pokemon Black and White. I was always thinking about it, but I decided not to when I bought the game or whatever. I ended up using, I think, Tempig. It was whatever. It was cool. And Flaffy, which is no problem to take out. Just keep using Santoon. And choose no gloom, and I have no choice but to go out to Combuskin and hit it with a flamethrower. Let's switch out to Blueberry so we can take out his Drill Bear and use a water gun. And goddamn, he used Dig. I was like, fuck. Yeah, and Dig hit. That did actually a lot of damage. Let's see what item that is. TM4? I think that's Calm Mind. I think. Yep, it's Calm Mind. That would be good to use if you get a Psychic Pokemon, which I really want. Are those fossils? They look like fossils. Maybe? Nope, they're not fossils. What item is that? Revive, that's cool. And I guess she wants to battle us. She got a whooper. Ain't got no choice but to switch out to Electabuzz. But, fuck, isn't he part ground? Yes, so I fucked up. Let's hit him with a focus punch, but no, he will not let us hit him with a focus punch. God damn it. I ain't got no choice but to choose out to go buskin come buskin and use double kick. Let's go back out to Lemonhead or whatever. And that was quick punch that was quick pressing or whatever, I'd be missing that. Let's just hit it with a Thunder Punch, no problem, Weasel, no problem, Thunder Punch. And he's using Lantern. Hopefully this one doesn't have Vault Absorb, yes, and this one does. God damn it. Let's hit it with a Focus Punch, nope. Let's try again, nope. See, in the beginning of the game, I was always getting away with Focus Punch, and now I seem to not always get away with it, which sucks. And I have no choice. And he kills me. Fuck, I was trying to get a sand doom off. God damn it. Hit me with a flail and I hit you with a double kick. I went up to level 32 trying to learn quick attack. Nah, let's not go for quick attack. I don't really see it being useful. Nope. Let's go over here, and do they want to battle me? Nope. Should I battle those people or just dodge them? We'll go back to battling them later. I just want to get that item. And he catches a slip in. That sucks. So yeah, guys, next next episode, we're going to be doing a lot more. Hopefully get to the next town. Because I'll always be leaving, like, mid-town or what, mid, mid, like, 
route, we always get halfway and then the recording ends.